Okay, so let's continue working with your books. This is the page number 134. Mm -hmm. 134. Are you there? Well, here we have a summary. Tenemos un resumen. A summary of may, might, could, and must. All these models plus have. So here we have the degrees of certainty. So we always did on the PPT the slides on PowerPoint. So we already did this. And you have here other examples. But don't forget, when you use may, might, and could plus have, in affirmative, you are not sure. In affirmative form with must, you are almost 100% sure it was true. Recuerden, casi 100% seguros de que es cierto. When you use must not in negative or couldn't have, you are almost 100% sure it was not true. This is a fake. Okay? It's false. Well, here you have the, uh, the sentences and we are going to focus here. We are going to create sentences using create sentences using may or may not, might, might not, must, must not, could o could not o couldn't. Pueden usar esta en contracción. Estas normalmente sí van a encontrar la, la contracción de mightn't, mustn't, pero normalmente no son muy usadas. Okay? We are going to see example. There aren't any messages on my phone. There aren't any messages on my phone. Entonces, la cantidad de mensajes son cero. I'm almost certain that he didn't call. Estoy casi segura. O sea, ya casi 100%, ¿no? Entonces, almost, casi 100% segura. Puede ser 99, 98%. Entonces, si no tienes ningún mensaje, entonces tampoco llamó. Entonces, ¿cómo harían su oración? He couldn't have called. Bueno, puede ser acá he or she, porque acá no dice... Ah, sí, sí nos dice he, ¿no? Él no llamó. Entonces, ¿están seguras que no llamó? ¿Cómo harían la oración? He couldn't o mustn't, cualquiera de las dos, mustn't, have, y el verbo called. No es necesario el complemento. Pueden poner me, ¿no? He couldn't have called me. O he mustn't have called me. So, let's see another. 